Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm the Technical Product Specialist here at Zsphere. So this video is going to be an introduction for a series of videos all about Ninja RMM. So let's give you a little background on us. So we serve hundreds of MSPs with Ninja RMM in the UK and Europe, but we don't only serve Ninja RMM to our customers. So we have quite a, a variety um, within our portfolio of the products that we actually distribute we also have our Z partnership program, which is just tailored and catered for MSPs. It has lots of great benefits, but we'll discuss that at the end of the video. So in video one, we'll be covering the configuration. So this is setting up your Ninja RMM, how to add your organizations and users. So um, your customers, adding your user accounts and your devices, and then looking at the branding and the sys tray icon. Video two is security. So we're going to be having a look at the different um, antivirus solutions that you can use within Ninja RMM, including um, the Microsoft Security Center integration. But mainly we're gonna be looking at Webroot and how that looks in the dashboard and how to action threats. The third video is going to be patching, how to enable patching, how to set up policies, how to action updates, and reporting and exporting info to CSV files. The fourth video is going to be a reporting feature, how to set up reports, which reports are available, to view and generate reports, and branding and sending the reports to your customers. The fifth video is going to be remote control. So guys, we're gonna be looking at the TeamViewer versus Splashtop um, kind of argument. And then we're going to go ahead and choose TeamViewer. So I'm going to show you how to set up the TeamViewer, how to get it integrated, how to turn it on in your organization policy, how to start connections, and also where to find your TeamViewer logs and reports. The sixth video is going to be on PSA. So we're going to be having a look at the different options that you can have for your PSA, for your, all of your ticketing needs. And we're going to be going ahead and setting up Computicate PSA. I'll show you how to use your tickets, where you can find them, and the help desk via the SysTray icon. The seventh video is going to be on backup. So we're going to be looking at Cloudberry versus StorageCraft and the differences between the two products. We're going to be looking at how to set up Cloudberry, how to set up the file and folder backups, and how to set up the image backup. If you want to get in touch with us, guys, then feel free. So on the screen now, you can see my email address and you can see our phone number. Please do contact us with any questions or anything you kind of want to know about our products. Also, this great piece of info, register as a Zsphere partner. So you get exclusive discounts, extended trials, free subscription to MSP Magazine Z, which is quarterly, free NFL licenses on various products, and it takes 20 seconds to sign up and it's completely free to MSPs and has no commitment. Awesome, right? So thanks for watching today, guys. And I hope to see you soon. And I hope you enjoy our series of videos.